Hello everyone. I want to make a, a sermon this morning, do a sermon. Uh, I'm going to be one verse, a very familiar scripture. It's John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's one that uh, most of us, even uh, young kids, can quote. Um, but uh, I've told you before, uh, I get up in the morning and I get me a quote, I get me a story, I get me a scripture. So today, my quote, if you have knowledge, let others light their candles in it, or wisdom. So that's my quote. I send this quote to some people. I started off sending it to one or two, and then other people uh, got added as we went along. People wanted to be added. And uh, so that's my quote for today. I've got me a quote. Uh, I've got me a story. And uh, my story today is the king and the feather. And uh, there's a king at... Uh, all his subjects was down below, and he was up high on a balcony, and he told them the sad news. He said, <clears throat> I've, uh, I need a kidney. And he said, I just wondered if anyone uh, would be willing to give me a, a kidney. And all the subjects down below, it was just a big roar, and they were saying, I will, I will, I will. And he looked over at his aide beside him, and he said, uh, what am I going to do? This is overwhelming. They all want to give me a kidney. How am I going to choose? And then he saw a feather between him and the, and the aid. And he said, I know. I'll just drop this feather down and whoever it lands on. So he told them down there, he says, it's so hard to choose. So I'm just going to drop this feather and, and whoever it lands on, That'll be the one. That's the fairest way I know. So he dropped the feather, and it was coming down ever so slowly. And he heard, all he could hear was whoosh, whoosh, them blowing the feathers. You know, we tell God that we want to do this, and we want to do that, and if we could, we'd, we would do this. But um, then when he says, okay, Dale, I want you to do this, then you start, whoosh, you know, like Moses. <clears throat> Moses said he couldn't speak good. He tried to swoosh the feather over to somebody else. So that's my story, my quote, my story. Uh, I heard a story, and I don't know this one. And if you know it, maybe you could uh, text me and let me know, or drop me, or, or maybe even better, just call me. And if I don't get your phone call, just leave it on my voicemail. But it was about a man that was singing Amazing Grace, and he knew music. And I know this is not correct. It's just what I can remember of it. He knew music, so he sung it, you know, uh, everything proper, everything just right. And someone asked him to sing it with a why. Why? So he sung it with a why, and it was so much difference. To me, if we live life with purpose and why and a mission, it makes it so much easier. Uh, I, I... My why, I want to help people. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I don't know much, but in my opinion, but what I know, I want to share with somebody. Um, it's like the four lepers. Uh, there was a famine in the land, and the four lepers were sitting there, and I guess they was having a the four leper board meeting, and, and they said... Uh, you know, uh, we're going to starve. Uh, there's no food around here, and there's nobody going to help a leper. And the other one says, well, if we go, we're going to die. And the other one said, well, if we sit here, we're going to die. Let's just go. So they went, and they uh, was coming up on the camp of the Syrians, I believe it was. And the Syrians, God had made them hear the sounds of a mighty army, I believe is the way it went. It's been a while. Second Kings 4. I think, and uh, but anyway, he, they, uh, they left in such a hurry. They saw some of the treasures, their treasures on the side of the road where they fell out the chariot that was bouncing around and going so fast. So they got there and there was plenty of food. They just eat till their little stomachs was full, and uh, there was treasures. 
and they're sitting around having another little board meeting of some kind. And one of them says, you know, we got countrymen back over here starving to death, man. What should we do about that? And the other one said, do about it. They wouldn't help us. I mean, they wouldn't help us at all. And you're thinking about going and helping them. And one said, we do not well to hold our peace. If you know something, if you have a gift, it's to be shared. It's not to be put in a box. So uh, my goal, my mission, my why is to help people. So that's what I want to tr try to do. Uh, my scripture was, for God so loved the world, we can quote it, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. <clears throat> That's the why. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he healed blind people. He walked on water. Uh, but his why was to, uh, that, that the world through him might be saved. It's true he walked on water, and he did heal the blind, but that's not why he came. But why he came was really John 3.16. Uh, I think about the story in Mark, the second chapter, where the man had the palsy. And it uh, seemed like I told this just here recently, but he had the palsy, and uh, uh, they... Uh, couldn't get him in the house. Four men carried him on a cot. So they went up on the roof and cut the roof, a hole in the roof, and let him down to Jesus. And Jesus said, Sons, Son, thy sins are forgiven. What a what a great word for that, him to heal, a crippled man that didn't amount to, that probably thought he didn't amount to anything. Um, it's is called son and then his sins were forgiven and that's why Jesus came you know we we come to church uh, there's a little socializing going on uh, used to be you know we could hug necks and shake hands and so on and so forth but now we're restricted by the coronavirus uh, to socialize to see people I never came because of a fashion show I wanted to see what new outfits that the brothers had on or see what kind of car, if they got a Tesla or, or Mercedes or whatever. Uh, that's not my why. Uh, our, you know, it's not a knitting club. It's not a, uh, a hunting club. Uh, but our common denominator is our why is that we can make it to the end and we can help somebody else make it. Um, God don't need us because we're so smart, but because of our why. I heard a story about a little boy. His dad bought him some French fries, I guess, from McDonald's. They were hot. They looked good. And the little boy was sitting there, and the, and the dad just reached over and picked one up and, and ate it. And the little boy said, mine, they're mine. And But the dad had bought, uh, bought it. We we take our life, and we tell God about our rights, and we say, it's my life, but God gave it to us. We wouldn't have a life at all. We wouldn't have a brain at all if it wasn't for God. So uh, that's, we owe him, not just a little, we owe him everything. And um, so I don't want to forget my why. Why did I come to church? Oh, we have pretty singing, singing, singing. We have pretty singing. But that's not why I go. Um, I go that I might make it all the way. I go to worship. Um, and so we don't need to forget our why. We need to always remember. So when I get up in the morning, when you get up in the morning, remember you why. Uh, I start mine off with a quote. I just told you, and a story, and a scripture, and uh, and and if I can, some way, somehow, during the day, I try to share it with somebody that I think may need it. 
So uh, I've enjoyed getting this to you today. It's pretty simple. It wasn't a lot to it. It wasn't complicated. But just don't let's just don't forget our why. And uh, I'm gonna give you my phone number two five six five zero eight forty four ten if you need me. And uh, if you can, if, if I I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I might not to get to right away. And um, if I don't answer, leave me a message and I'd appreciate it. So 256-508-4410 and I love you and I care about you. So may God bless you until next time.